Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello, hello, hello. I'll allow for some time for some of y'all to jump on and then I'll get started. I'm just doing one of my favorite things I love to do, which is burning some roses. And I also have a card here. And I'm also going to um, give another thanks try on because today is National Underwear Day. Yay! So I am celebrating that as well as celebrating the new moon coming in. I'm celebrating it's the Ushun Festival that's going on right now. And we are celebrating the first harvest. So I said today is a day of celebration, beauty, sacred feminine, always sacred feminine celebration going on today. So, mm, you can just come along with me right now, wherever you are, whenever you receive this message is perfect, <laughs> okay? And um, let us begin. If you, if you have the opportunity, if you're safe, you're not driving, you're able to, let's just drop into our womb space receive the messaging, receive the love, receive the grace of the sacred feminine. We're so grateful. We're so thankful. Come to a place of gratitude. And after I get done, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all these. So get into these panties, okay? You got to get into these panties. But for right now, we are going to give thanks and connect into our womb space. Drop down into our womb space. <sighs> hmm. And give thanks to the sacred mother, the sacred feminine, the feminine divine that is you, that lives within your womb, that lives within your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. Let's just drop down, down, down. <sighs> if you haven't already today, wake up your womb. Call in divine love energy and wake, 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 wake your womb up. <sighs> and breathe. <sighs> hmm. Every day is a holy womb day. Every day is a holy womb day. Make sure I have this turned up. Every day is a holy womb day. <sighs> hmm. Sacred Mother, we just give so much thanks for ourselves, for our or we for the blessing of this day. We ask, because the day is not over yet, for the miracle of the day. We give thanks for a miraculous change and transformation and love and peace. And we bless the fruit of our womb. We bless our womb spirit. We bless the soul. We bless the ori, the divine spirit, the inner spirit that's connected to our womb center. We bless and we give thanks for the soul of our womb that guides us every single day. We're so grateful for you, Sacred Mother, to live and dwell within us for our highest and best good. We give thanks for divine grace. Yes, Ashe, we give thanks for divine grace. We're so grateful. We're so thankful. Let me grab my bell. <laughs> uh, my womb altar real quick. Because I'm praying. <laughs> so we give thanks for divine grace. We're so grateful. We're so thankful for this time in connection with you. We're so thankful to celebrate the feminine, to celebrate Lushun, to celebrate life, to celebrate our holy womb, to celebrate our holy woman. And I bow to your holy womb and I bow to your holy woman. Ashe, yes, Ashe. Ah! All right, my loves, we're so grateful. So let's get into the sacred word today, okay? Now I am... Bringing this from the Divine Feminine or Oracle. I love, love this deck. The Divine Feminine Oracle by Megan Watterson. I love this deck. I keep it on my womb altar. This deck connects me to, more so connects me to my lineage of St. Mother Magdalene, who is also a womb healer. <laughs> and um, Christ, Christ is Christ, Yahshua's wife um and divine mother of all she is also womb healer along with the christian mystic um tradition so i love love this deck all right and let me get some water y'all hold on y'all just be with me okay
Okay. Go ahead. Yes, I'm still on my chlorophyll water, y'all. Woo, yes. That chlorophyll, that is like a shot of energy for me. I love my chlorophyll water. Okay, so what is the great mother seeing today through this deck? All right, so I already pulled this deck. And this deck, um, and th now this messaging is going to carry you through the new moon, right? We're going to the dark side of the moon where we can get into some shadow work. We can get into what's happening in the dark. I personally, I am in the dark side of my womb cycle. So depending on where, where you flow, how your cycle flow, this may be your crone time. This may be your dark moon time. It's, it is my dark moon time. So in this space, we want to go inward during the dark. Anytime the dark moon is a beautiful time to connect inward. Go in into that stillness of what your soul is saying. As I said, our womb space is also a place where the feminine soul lives. Also, where the space where your ori lives. Um, a blessing, give thanks for that truth and how our umbilical cord, we're all of life, transfer of life, transfer of life between you and your mother and your, and if you are a mother to your children and that soul space of the navel and also where the womb voice lives and the truth lives connected to cross all time and space, all dimensions. This is the life portal right here. So of course, this is Ori, spirit, inner truth, inner spirit, inner woman, Ashe. So we bless and we give thanks of wisdom that holds our soul energy okay so this card is speaking about my soul my soul my soul my ori my soul and heart right knows the way mm. you ever just feel like you're in a state of confusion and uncertainty and sometimes we miss a beat right sometimes we get a little off and we're like are we on the path is this true for me now What's happening? We're we're already see, seeing. I don't know what's going on with y'all, but here in southwestern, <laughs> so, a little southern Maryland. I'm a little bit, a little bit down, but not super, super south. But South Central Maryland, the leaves are already changing. So when we think about that change and the season of change going to the dark season, really the dark season going, <laughs> the dark season in in the fall, which is also another transition type of season for us. We think about what's here for us, what's true, what needs to go, what needs to let go. I as these leaves are falling what do we need to release what do we need to let go so that we know that we are at on our righteous path and we are doing the good work for ourselves for our family being the priestess of our own queendom our own kingdom and what is really true for us and so that we are connecting with our soul truth to guide us and to lead us in releasing where it's an ever going it's an ever going devotion to unwinding those patterns right the unwinding those patterns that it's not excuse me it's not for our highest and for our best. And so this is a beautiful time as we think about transitioning here to another season. As we think about here, we have the dark side of the moon. And wherever you are in your womb cycle is absolutely perfect for you to connect with what is true for you now. And so that you could begin to connect to that soul energy. Sometimes as women, we get into like these thinky thoughts all the time, right? Like our mind would take us and we would just go wandering on and on and creating um, all of these energies that may not be true for us. So when you drop down that's why i said drop down into that soul space drop down into that womb space to see what's true for you ask your ori and your inner ori that's connected to your womb space your soul what's true now what's here that which supports me boldly support and what doesn't let it just let it melt away in grace all right we call on mother's grace because we are always on that unwinding 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 of patterns and we are always in transition we're always in transformation and it's okay to sit and connect with okay where am i at in my transformation what what am i desiring what is my main desire right now what am i what am i calling in what process am i in what patterns is going on is this true for me as we get ready to shift into another season and call forth all this abundance of energy that's here right that lioness energy that can really give us a boost here in this particular month as well in leo season actually. so my soul knows the way and the only way out is through, <laughs> okay? So we know that the only way out is through, period, right? So when we're saying the only way out is through, it's having that courageous to go through it. 
We are always, always, always in a transformation. We, when I say that, I mean that in connection to our own womb spirit. Literally, we are always transformed. In seven days, y'all, I'll be in my maiden energy. Seven days from that, I'll be in my ovulation mother energy. Seven days from there, I'll be in my about that time frame. My enchantress um, time of my cycle is a little bit longer because I'm a priestess and I love dwelling in enchantress uh, womb. <laughs> Goddess priestess energy. And then from that, I go back around. We are always in a place of cycling in transformation in our own cycle and where are we at now in our desires what are we calling in what experience what are we creating so it's okay to say okay let me do a little sacred pause let me have the courageous and once i go inside of that space what's here what needs to change what needs to go what needs to come in calling in those supports and having the courage to step forward into that into your next best peacefully <laughs> in wisdom and soul voice connected to that womb and also that solar plexus uh, energy centers, your ori and your heart. This is what's true for me now. And this is where I'm going to place my energy. And I'm going to have the courageous, <laughs> the courage. This is talking about having courage as well um, to move forward, even when we just don't know. When we don't know and also when we know we have some habits, we have some we have some routines and stuff that we kind of need to shift away from. Sometimes it takes a change. It's just you you want that energy of like that oil to, you know, change me, change me, divine goddess, change me. Let me be the goddess of transformation so that I can be a vibrational match to the person I want to be, to that experience, to whatever is my next best. So sit with that. In this new moon, what's really true for you? Connecting to what's true for you. Asking Divine Goddess for her grace. That which supports me boldly steps forward. That which doesn't gracefully. You ain't got to know about it. Just let just let go <laughs> and let Goddess so she can remove some of those barriers, some of those bounds, and allow for that grace, right? And just be okay wherever you are and in your internal transformation and how that is expressed out into the world. Ashe, that is the message. Let me sit here for a little bit. Let me see what else, what else, is, what else, what else, what else is coming through. Hmm. Hmm. In my pharaoh, I just feel so much energy of grace. Thank you, Mother Yemiya. Grace, grace, grace. So I just want to bless you all now and call on the energy of grace of the great mother. Her peace, that divine white light that calms and cools, the energy of serenity, the energy of grace. I ask now that grace will surround us that we will feel the vibrational frequency of grace in us, through us, and around us. As we go into this season of trans just transition and transformation, may we be, have the, the energy of feminine courage and faith and be devoted and have peace. Have so much peace. Peace. Peace, 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 and grace. As we dwell inside of our transformation and as we have the courage to face some of our shadows and those patterns and those routines and all of those things that are ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, that we may release those things through grace and call on the support that is here through our ori, through our womb, through our ancestral mothers, through goddess, infinite divine intelligence, through truth. And the sacred masculine, the divine masculine in the universe and in those men who support us, who are devoted to loving us and honoring us as we walk this walk as womb priests, as the priests of our own kingdom and queendoms. We bless and we give thanks for divine grace. May we fully accept this blessing. May we feel it completely in and through us, all the way down to our roots. Drop down into your root, all the way down to your womb, all the way down into your vaginal opening, the root of roots. 
Mm. An anchor right there. Oof. Oof. Mm. Once you got it, just ooh, move that body and feel it. Divine grace, 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 divine grace is what I bless you with. Grace, her grace, her grace, her grace is everlasting. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Do you receive that message? Comment below. I want to know if you receive that message for yourself as we head up into this new moon. And wherever you are in your womb cycle, may your inner womb truth nourish you in your transformational process with courage, with grace, and joy. My goodness, with delight and truth. We are celebrating the transition season that's coming through, the dark season that's coming. You know, this is my favorite time of the year when we started going to fall. I said, oh, yes, I see the leaves changing. So this is my favorite time of the year. Okay, before I go, let me just let y'all know now. Let me let y'all know what's going on. Let me drink some water so y'all know that i am a thinks leader thinks undergarments sacred menstrual undergarments that supports me i love these okay so last time i was with y'all there was a free shipping sale at that time, I ordered a pair of um, high waist things that I've been trying to get for a while. Now they in, in the full plus size. I got me a 4X in this color. Y'all, I am so, so in love with this color. Like, I've been waiting for this color since they decided to bring out true plus sizes. Now I got them in a true plus size, and I just love this color. So I want to show you this color. The color is fig, and they feel so good so full i feel so beautiful and so enchanted <laughs> okay now um right now today is national if y'all didn't know it was national underwear day so today when you use my thinks page when you do use my links of which i'll comment and put it in the comments for y'all you get ten dollars off boom automatically ten dollars off go ahead and take your time and try a pair of period panties y'all i'm telling you not only is it economical for you but we are doing something to support mother this will support her this will support you and when we support mother earth we are supporting ourselves any little way that we could bring down our own waste any little way that we could bring down littering and all that stuff you imagine how dirty the ocean is with tampons and pads and all these things so if you have the opportunity go ahead get you a pair of things try it for yourself and then do that unto service and into devotion of mother right so let me go ahead and show y'all these real quick let me just see real quick um so i can look at myself so these are the fig, right? And ain't these, girl, these are so super sexy to me. You see that sheer? Get into that. That sheer right there. Of course, like I said, everything is full. It's fully, fully covered. Now, these are the heavy. Now, these are heavy. So they hold up to four tampons. Let me turn around here so that you can see. Okay, let me move here so y'all can see how full that coverage is right here. All right, so let me get into the front. Oh my God, I love these. Oh my goodness, I love these. Oh, this color, I just love this color. You see this? It's like a purplish wine fig. I love these. Boom, boom, boom. Today, today, happy, happy, happy international underwear day. So get $10 off. You thinks period undies today. Oh my God, I love these so much. Anyway, so that is that, my beloved. All right, so before I go, I want to give you a couple updates on a couple of things. Now, y'all know I'm a moon mother. I will be talking about the full moon blessing that everybody can tap into on the full moon. That's coming up August 22nd. It's the worldwide womb blessing. I myself, we send the energy out. To, um, through being a moon mother out into the entire world. There is over 6, 67,000 moon mothers globally in like 125 countries for women to sign up for the worldwide womb blessing. I also will be taking part in the worldwide womb blessing as well. There's very different slots. I'll get into that later closer to the full moon. Also on the end of this month in the waning moon, I'll have my own womb goddess temple gathering on august 29th 
just check the dates. If you're not on my email list, inbox me, but like says, I want to get on your list so that you are in the flow of what's happening with womb goddess temple. Okay. I love you so very much. If you have questions about things, if you have questions about menstrual mysteries, magic, if you have questions about whatever <laughs> you feel, I am available in service to goddess. I love you so very, very much. Celebrate you. Celebrate the sacred feminine. Welcome to the time of the first harvest. Take some time and bless Ushun. It's her festival time. And just enjoy yourself, my loves. I bless you and I will see you next time. Now, Shay. <laughs> take care, take care, take care.